Yeah, so got into a car accident with the RV. The lighting is pretty bad. Let me see. And you see it behind there. Yeah, I hit a pole in the gas station, like this weird pole that I got too close to. And it just kind of drug off that whole little side part right there. And then it cut the, um, I believe it cut the lights to the RV. So the police told me to uh, to come over here. I called Triple A to see if they can, um, you know, they can tell me to, because uh, we're just gonna stay at a hotel tonight. Because we're just pretty exhausted. Like today was just a really crazy day. Um, I have to sit down and, and do a little, a little vlog on what happened today. But today was like a really crazy day with this RV and everything. So we just kind of want to just get in a hotel, take some showers and really sleep. And then I'll have to find somebody to... Um, come take a look at it. There's a metal piece that's hanging right here that just dragging on the ground and the lights are not working. So um, I'll have to um, call around, see what I can do, see what I can find um, as far as that goes. I don't have to be anywhere until next week. So we do have some time to um, get this fixed, but uh, I just feel like so stupid the way I hit that pole. It was just a weird pole by the gas pump and it just tore off the whole bottom part of the camper. So I just feel real horrible that I've tore. This is the second time that I've tore something off the, the camper. <laughs> and last year I tore the top part off. You know what like oh my guarding? gosh it's, it's guarding the pump, so it's yeah like so somebody run into, into it. it so yeah it's like this weird pole that was shaped like this and it just got caught and just ripped off the whole thing so yeah so yeah the police told us to pull over here at this old chevy lot that we're in and we're waiting for triple a to come tow us and then the hotel that we're gonna stay in does not take cash and i only have money on a card so we have to go to walmart to put money on a card and then go to the hotel so i don't know we might walk to walmart really quick and um get this money on this card so that when the tow truck comes we could just get towed to the hotel take some showers get a good night's sleep and start trying to get this rv fixed so yeah adventures this is rv life this is what happens and then maybe i need to watch a few more tutorials on how to drive something this big all right good night Hey YouTube, it's like two o'clock in the morning. We're just getting into the hotel and getting settled. Um, we waited for triple A. They were really taking too long. So I just decided to drive to the Walmart to put the money on the card so that I can rent the hotel room. So we're in the hotel room um one shower down the other shower is in progress and then i'll be taking a shower unfortunately i still have some work to do for this travel position that i'll be taking so i've got to go ahead and do that but i just wanted to get on and say that you know we're all okay um we're gonna sleep in this hotel tonight in the morning i had to call some mechanics to see what's um to see if they can cut that piece off that's dragging on the ground and also fix the lights.
because we can't really drive without brake lights. I don't want to get stopped again by the cops. So, luckily, nobody was hurt. Um, um, I don't think I'm going to get a hit and run charge because... <laughs> because I didn't go into the gas station and tell them that I hit their pole that could be a hit and run um, the police officer said but there was no damage to the pole and like I said I was out there for 20 minutes so basically I was pulling into the gas station and there's like this pole by like shaped like this that is by the gas pump and I just basically um, I, I basically sideswiped it. So here was the pole, and here I came in like this, and I hit it. And so what? As I was backing back out, it like crunched up all of the like the bottom side of the camper. So yeah, and so I was out there for about 20 minutes, me and the girls, picking up metal pieces and wood and i even brought out my broom and swept the area up cleaned the whole area everybody at the gas station was staring at us nobody came over to say are you okay do you need help do you need us call anybody nothing nobody in the gas station came out so i thought there was no damage so i thought everything was fine as soon as we left the gas station the gas attendant called the police and then the police was were behind us excuse me I'm tired the police was behind us and I didn't know that my lights went out because I think that metal piece severed the, uh, the light cording or something I don't know but I have to have a I see a cord that is severed underneath the the rig so I'll have to have a mechanic look at it tomorrow and we cannot stay in this hotel. We have to check out tomorrow at 11 o'clock because there's a stinger game out here and they house the people playing, I guess, in the stingers game. And so, yeah, we need, we're, we're gonna have to, if depending, we'll have to see what happens when I call the mechanic. So I'm going to try to find a mechanic in town that can cut that piece off and fix my light for me. And hopefully they can. And if they can, then we can get to where we need to go, which is about an hour away. And then we're going to stay there because I have some appointments out there that I need to take care of. So just... I don't know wishing good luck for tomorrow we'll see how everything goes i'm sorry i couldn't get on and vlog more stuff Right, good day YouTube we are up and about it's around 10 30 a.m. and we are getting ready to check out the hotel so I just kind of we had a double bed hotel this is the super 8 so it was all right it was fine they're really nice you know about me um, about you know just my vehicle just they were just very nice to us so everything's all good um tow truck is on the way to come get the camper we found a um i found a truck mechanic repair uh here in this town so it'll be here my best friend is coming to get me she's gonna let me use her van today van life <laughs> so we can be able to take care of our business. We have the cats. There's Winter. And Miss Lola is probably hiding under the bed. So we're just waiting for my friend to come get me. Um, the camper is out in the back of the hotel. Tow truck's coming to get it. So yeah. So we're just going to go about our day. We're all freshly showered. And um, I really only got about maybe five no I didn't even get five hours of sleep because I think I got I think I got about four hours of sleep 
but I feel good, you know. I'm just glad that um, we're getting the camper fixed. I'm glad I have the money to fix it. But basically, I tore the sub part of the sub flooring uh, under the area where I sleep, where the dinette set is. So I, they're gonna have to actually put that metal part back up and repair it. So I hope it's not gonna cost a lot of money. And then they gotta repair, it looks like I snipped the ground wire. So they're gonna have to repair that. So hopefully it won't be too costly and we'll be okay. So we're gonna get some little crates for, you know, animal crates for the cats. Um, so they can be secure so we don't have to worry about them running out we're gonna be in my friend's van today um, and we're just gonna take care of a few things around this town until our RV is repaired and then when the RV is repaired when they call us until this is repaired then we'll come get it if hopefully it will be repaired today and it won't be like a huge job that will take days, you know, cause it's just basically bend that metal back up and, you know, screw it back in place. I don't know, I don't know how to fix that, but yeah, I did some pretty extensive damage to the RV by hitting that pole. So I just have to be much more careful. Woke up, I realized well actually it had been hours before I realized because I was letting the girls sleep and then when we got ready to take off the the RV wouldn't start so basically I left the lights on last night because when we pulled into Walmart it wasn't dark enough for me to see that the lights were still on it was dark enough for me to have the lights on the driveway but I forgot they were on so and I did not jump out of the RV before I laid down so the lights were on the whole night, ran down the battery. So this nice man named Al, I don't know if he's if he'll ever watch this, but he was so sweet, so nice, and he's a fellow RVer, and he stopped and gave me a jump. Um, he was like, whenever he sees an RV with the hood up, he always stops because he is a fellow traveler also. He's not full-time yet. He said he'll be able to go full-time in about a year because he had some issues with his knee, but he drives a fifth wheel, and he just was really good conversation, very nice, very helpful. So I'm just really appreciative of everybody that has been so nice to us you know, on our journey, um, you know, getting through this. And yeah, so I'm just happy that everything is going so smoothly um, tonight, I mean today, and um, you know, us getting here um, to the hotel was kind of, you know, nerve wracking because I had to kind of like, the police did not want me to drive because I didn't have any lights. But Triple A was like taking, they couldn't find anybody to like really tow us. And then by the time they did find somebody to tow us, we had just pulled into the hotel. So, cause we were just getting bit up by mosquitoes. We were in the empty Chevrolet parking lot. It was like one o'clock in the morning. Plus we had to go to Walmart to put money in the card because the hotel doesn't take cash. So, and then when we got here, the lady was like, well, I'm the only one here at night. That's why we don't take cash, you know, to try to prevent robberies and stuff. And I was like, I understand. It was just really hard. So I am going to, you know, try to make sure that I have some cash on a card, you know, and usually I do, but I sold the car yesterday. So I sold the car yesterday and I had all this cash on me and hadn't had a chance to get to the bank or anything because of everything that was going on yesterday. I also, yesterday I also had a phone interview for a nursing travel position. So it was just crazy. Everything was so crazy and so rushed yesterday. There was so much stuff. Um, I had a few items on my friend's porch that I had to donate and there was items in the car and the car was dirty so I had to get it cleaned out. So we just had so much stuff going on and then my friend was cooking dinner and it took really long and we didn't leave her house till like 
almost it was like 11 something at night and i was just you know we are already asleep by 9 15 9 30 we are at walmart and we are getting in the bed to sleep so i was just way past my